Forget shuffleboard, there's a new sport taking some seniors living centers by storm. It's forklift racing. However, it's not the actual big rig that you see inside of plants and factories. It's miniature and remote control. John Lauritsen has this story. We've had like huge crowds coming down to watch. You know, we'll cram about 30 people into that room. At Carver Senior Living Facility, it's a packed house with a playoff atmosphere. Two, one, go! The residents have gathered to cheer on the hometown River Rats, a lean, mean forklift racing team. Keep our composure and don't panic. And everybody uh, watch out for me. And you never know where I'll be. Every Thursday at 1 o'clock, the River Rats face off virtually against another group of seniors in Minnesota and Wisconsin. It's very competitive, and you have to you really be uh, team oriented to do this. They use remote controlled forklifts to pick up loads and place them around the arena. The first team to deliver all four loads to a new location wins the shift. It's harder than it looks. Uh, you got to be seriously aware of whether you want to go forwards or backwards, whether you want to turn left or right. All while trying not to collide with your teammates. What I learned in my career was that aging is a team sport. Dr. Bill Thomas invented the National Forklift Racing League to help seniors exercise hand-eye coordination while building camaraderie. He's tuning in from Ithaca, New York. A lot of people, when they think about aging and old age, they think about what people can't do. And forklift racing is about what people can do. Turns out they can do a lot. There is a little bit of senior smack time, and the crowd goes wild whenever the river rats come through. I thought it was, you know, kind of like a fancy shuffleboard, so to speak. But after I got into it, it was really, first of all, fun. In Carver, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. That is fun. Coming up, tomatoes. They're about as versatile as they come. Still ahead, just wait until you see what Mr. Food is making with it.